Hello everyone, it is on-site auction day. I might not come away with anything at the auction, but I trash picked the house next door and got this bag of paper. So we'll see what's in there. <laughs> uh, there is a lot of vintage Christmas, some just great vintage items. Probably been sitting in this home for years. They're so cute. It's vintage goodness. Will I get it? Have to wait and see, fingers crossed. If not, trash picking may have been good for me. Good box. Good one. <laughs> what is this? Corn stripper. That's fun. That's a great box too. Mmm. Oil of wintergreen. This looks like it's so yummy. Oh, it's for <laughs> it's not to eat. <laughs> it's not to eat. I thought it was like <laughs> Oh boy. This box is off. Well, what's in this? Oh, it's a book. It's an official rocks and minerals. Oh, that's really fun. We'll keep him covered up. <laughs> uh, I think this is gonna be a rough auction. Oh, this is fun. Common Rocks and Minerals of Pennsylvania. Oh, how cute. That's a fun box. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, there's so much good stuff here. <gasps> how fun. Oh, I'm in your way. Someone's work. Cut out jeans? They did hems. Patterns. 
kind of transfers. Oh, <gasps> letters. Oh, I like this book. trash and I'm going to take it all right well if I don't get anything at the um, auction it doesn't matter because I have their trash what number are we number 20 I'm gonna oh. go out and get a number we're gonna go oh, out nice. there it's too much okay let this guy go all right. That's a great one. Oh, Asbury, New Jersey. Westminster Abbey. at home. Oh, that's adorable. Those are so cute. Oh, it's Nazareth. Great cottage. I'd live there. Oh my gosh, there's so much. <laughs> I don't pay attention to it. <laughs> I don't pay attention. It's Halloween, but it's newer. It's a hat. No, it's a purse. Oh no, it's a muff. Ten 
So I've uh, been sorting uh, to figure out what's trash and what's not. And um, <laughs> I lifted up this box and there's a bag of pennies. <laughs> Any other? Oh, there's a nickel. First on-site auction in probably a month and a half, two months. And it was pretty good. There were some boxes that I wish I would have bid on other boxes that I knew were going to be out of my price range, but I came home, I think, with some really nice stuff. I guess you should focus more on what you were able to get versus the items that you couldn't get or that you saw last minute and you didn't bid, um, and just be happy with what you found. And I did find something in the trash there. <laughs> A bag of paper. It looks like schoolwork. There's some newspapers. Um, yeah, Walker diving, Walker Diving Contractors Inc. Divers Inspection Report, customer, Bethlehem Steel. This is correspondence from the Bethlehem Steel, inner office correspondence, 1983. <gasps> I'm so glad I took this box. I mean, that could be the only investigating. Ooh, subject, investigation of high potential, no injury accident, steam water, air, and powerhouse department. Date and time of accident. Oh my goodness, all right. I'm glad I took this box. Anyway, I'm going to, the Bethlehem Globe Times. I'm going to look through this bag in the next video because I think it'll be fun. It's like a garbage bag. It was just there at the house in their trash. And I took it. Anyway, so yes, that was fun. <sighs> I did not get the Christmas. Um, it went for a little too much money than I would have paid. I think the one box went for 40. Another box went, I think it was 30 something. So what are you going to do? didn't get it. I did get the box of games. I have so much stuff. Um, picked up this. This beautiful, I think it's beautiful, quilt. And it is in need of some help. It is double-sided. The one thing that I wish I would have bought, it was a stack of small boxes that had pieces of fabric, older fabric. But um, I want to put this aside for a potential project. Again, one of the many projects that I have, you know, long list. We've got some great vintage tablecloths. These have the nice backing. I didn't even know these were in the boxes. I just went through them. Um, this cute guy, this is, <laughs> it is a tablecloth, but look, they're having a picnic. This is adorable. Okay, so anyway, let's let's get it let's get it together here today. The surprise of the day for me was that I actually was able to get the vintage children's books that were inside the house. I thought these were going to go for a lot of money and they didn't. And I'm so excited because I just love oh, Look at these little guys. Oh. I just love the illustrations. I love the colors. So <clears throat> really happy about those that was a great way to start the the day i bought those um oh yes the box of games i did get those there's just so much um i mainly bought it because it had the bingo cards there's a yahtzee oh these are fun with the yahtzee pads uh nice breeze here so we got those, there's some pencils in there, maybe some local places. Um, the bingo cards, they were in there. We have a Muppet. A Muppet uh, puzzle. Well, they're 250 pieces. Maybe I'll put this together. Give me some 
downtime for my brain. Um, like I said, I have a lot. The game, that box also had the... <laughs> I love it. The Disneyland board game. And then I just noticed the pieces are actually in here. Too bad Alice wasn't there. Through at Disneyland. I'll have to look this up. Look how cute the front of that is. Um, there's a trouble game. Oh, what's this? Concentration. Take one gift. Oh my gosh, these are adorable. <laughs> Forfeit one gift. There's like boots and shoes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm so glad I bought this box. There's dominoes. Ooh, there's colored dominoes. Those are nice. There's Yahtzee pieces. There's a Michigan rummy in the bottom. Um, this is for a cheesy board game. Ow. Oh, my nail. Sorry. Backgammon. I never learned how to play that. So that box is fun. There's so much stuff. We got that. Um, I did get the box that had the all sorts of old patterns and some mishmash of paper that I didn't really look at at all. Perforated quilting. Oh, it's like the stars. Oh, how nice. Those. Mountain mist. I bought it because I loved, oh, this was in here, that's right. <gasps> Priscilla initial book. Assortment of 390 embroidery letters to be transferred with a hot iron. Oh my gosh. <gasps> I wonder if these still work. Oh, I have so many projects I would love to do with these. Oh my gosh. This would have been an amazing house to do a clean out of. I mean, that's, that's the kind of house that I would love to have to clean out. She's books. Wonder Puff pillows. Oh, I want to make these. Oh, it's a catalog. I love all these old things. New crochet and tatting designs in caps, collars, and jabbits. Copyright. Oh, it doesn't have a date. Oh my goodness. I love these. I'm so glad I got those. We got those. I successfully. Oh, this one's heavy. Where'd they go? Got the box with the little mittens. Mittens. I hope the other one's in there. Because that would be a shame if it wasn't. Oh, I hope it's in there. There's some hankies. This is Wyoming. It looks like it might be Texas. Abilene, Abilene, Texas. Oh. <gasps> I didn't even know that was in there, but I love it. What's in here? I don't know. Harmony and Marriage. A little book. Oh, I hope, I hope that little mitten's in there. I'll have to look. A blue Jackets manual. That's military. Oh, this one had the Sears catalog, the Sears catalog, tinware. Oh, there's some old photos too. Guy with his deer. There's some. Is that the from Sears book? So they must have had someone that worked at Bethlehem Steel. Uh, with all the Bethlehem steel items that they did have here. I'm gonna have to look at these books. Anyway, oh, I hope that little mitten's in there. We have, a, oh, here it is. Whew, saved. We have a little pleated skirt. Oh, these, what were these? I don't think it's like a bra. Bra cover, perhaps. Oh, there are some darling 
hankies in here. You have the Christmas hanky. Oh, there's even a barrette. Butterfly barrette. We have some aprons too. What's this guy? Oh, this one looked adorable. Oh, look how cute. I would love to make these. Um, that's why I wish I would have bought the fabric, but maybe next time. First, I need to find out how to sew and then add that to my list of projects. But yeah, this I feel like this review has been all over the place, but there's so many great things. I'm so excited. So we got the game pieces, bingo pieces, bingo cards. We have the old books. We have the linens, um, the quilt, all the old uh, um, how-to catalogs. What's this one? Pineapple, pineapple fanfare, contemporary crochet, all those things. And then the mystery bag of paper, which I will be looking through in the next video. I'm glad I bought what I bought. Still wish I would have bought that box fabric, but anyway, I found some great things. That's the that's the type of problem with this type of stuff is what I would love to do a clean out clean out of. You know, there were postcards. They didn't go for that much, which I was surprised. I don't know if I stated that already that he might be getting to me. Um, I think they went for maybe 30, 25 to 30 dollars a box, which honestly is not bad at all. But I let them go. They didn't get to the photographs yet. Uh, oh, the other large box of paper, I believe that sold for 25. I don't know. I just, I, I wanted it, but I could pass on that knowing I found a bag of paper in the trash. <laughs> so yes, crazy mishmash of a review. I know, I'm sorry, but I'm just having fun looking through all this stuff. What's this one? Oh! Sears Roebuck. This is a 1987 replica. I didn't even know it was in there. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So, I hope you love this. As much as I love this auction. This is fun. Anyway, yes. Time to sort, clean. 18 books. 1806 to current. Antique guides. Old joke riddle books that's what that box says where are those anyway again um i hope you enjoyed this this is a fun auction a little bit hot but still when you find amazing things like these it's worth it so hopefully more auctions like this perhaps i'll find some great treasures like this in the flea market and perhaps even my own house clean out still hoping still wishing still knowing it will happen thanks for watching hope you have a great day hope you <laughs> I need to get out of this heat, get something to drink, go to the gym. Got to focus my brain. I hope you're having a good day and I hope you are staying cool out there. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next adventure. And yeah, you never know what's going to happen, what treasures we will find, where we will go. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. I'll see you all next time. <laughs>